Hey, I'm Janelle and this is to DIY for so I have come up with yet again another DIY that you should be able to do in your home right now without leaving and buying any supplies because literally all you need is paper and some scissors and I'm pretty sure everyone should have those two things in their home. Yes, an added addition could be some spray paint or other paint, but I'm gonna show you how you can make these really cool um, paper leaves, I guess is what they are. I've seen them all over Pinterest. Here's some of my inspo pics. I had been meaning to do this for a while and I figured, well, perfect timing. I can't leave my home to buy supplies to sell. We'll work with what we got. Let's get into it. So like I said, any kind of paper is going to work with this. Cardstock is really great to keep the shape and form of the leaves. This is the cardstock I have. Unfortunately, it's got patterns all over it, so I don't think it's great. But I also have this craft paper. Now this is a lot thinner, but the good thing about this roll is that it's really big because you need these pieces to be quite large in order to create those large leaves. So um, you could also use you know, lined paper. They're gonna be a lot smaller, or you could even use wrapping paper. Whatever paper you got at home is gonna work. I've folded this piece in half and I've cut out a kind of leaf shape. I know that doesn't really look like a leaf. Keep it wide at the bottom and kind of taper it towards the top. And then you're just gonna go ahead and accordion this paper back and forth and back and forth. And you can make the accordion as wide or as narrow as you like. I kind of went with a more narrow look. I like a lot of folds in it, but again, that's why it's going to kind of shrink in size. So once you've got it completely accordioned, then you just pull it together and cinch it at the bottom. And that is how you get your very cool leaf shape. So you can have some fun with different shapes that you're cutting out with the paper. And you can also pull it up closer and that kind of changes the shape and the size of the leaf as you can see where I pinch it there. Tape it wherever you want. And I also put in some wooden dowels. You could use skewers as well for this to kind of give it um, a little stem and also help prop it up and give it some stability. So I didn't know if I wanted to keep mine just that brown paper or paint it. I decided to spray paint that one because green was literally the only color of spray paint I have on hand. And I did try to create these leaves with this patterned paper, this cardstock that I have. I do not like the look of it, maybe you do. So I flipped it over and I'm painting it with acrylic paint. Not ideal, but if you are going to paint it, I would suggest doing it with the cardstock. It handles the paint a lot better and a paintbrush a lot better than this other paper does. I'm kind of flattening out a lot of the folds, but what you can do afterwards is kind of fold it and cinch it back up like I'm doing there. And then make sure that you pry it back open so that the paint can dry and it doesn't paint it shut. And then you basically just arrange them however you like. simple. Um, I think the most frustrating part is doing the really big leaves because folding and doing the accordion as evenly as possible can be a little bit tedious. The smaller ones are much easier to do, but you can go ahead and play with different shapes of leaves. And I really think that these would look really great, not just styled in vases. You could put them up on a wall or you could also kind of turn it into like a door decoration and hang them as a, like a bundle or a group of leaves. I think that would look really neat. Let me know if you prefer the painted ones over the brown ones or whatever. Just leave that down in the comments below and subscribe if you're new to my channel hi welcome um, I do new DIYs every single Wednesday so I will be back next week with a new one cheers